This is Coco Vaughn, and I am here with Davey for an exclusive behind the scenes interview of the revolution. Rebel. Davey, tell us who you are. Davey, it's me. Who is Dave Johnson? Is Dave Johnson? Dave Johnson is a world changer, right? Like, he's a 2019 Harriet Tubman. I like that, yeah. That's what I would say. That's what Dave Johnson is. Who is Davey? Davey is Dave Johnson transcended onto the platform. Ultimately, they one and the same. Um, Dave Johnson is the brains and the message. Davey is the messenger and the, the platform. You know? The cool delivery. The cool delivery. Yeah, the cool delivery. I like that. I like, I that. Too. I like that. Too. Well, from my understanding, Davey is about to deliver a revolution. What is your definition of a revolution? So, when talking about this project in particular, I wanted to debunk the, the stereotypical imagery, um, perception, and the initial thought when you're thinking revolution. Because ultimately, you know, you probably have two types of reactions. One, ultimately, people get riled up. People get scared, you know. You think revolution, you think the black fist, um, revolting, and violence, and, and things like that. This particular revolution is not that. Um, it's, it's not necessarily violent at all. Um, what I really wanted to do was strip down, strip away all of the classifications, um, strip away all the categories that, that separate us. Because there's so many, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that's just right off the bat, you think race. Um, when all actuality, you have both good and bad on either side of the race car, right? You, we all know some good black people, we know some bad, right? We know good white people, we know bad. And so forth and so on with our Latino brothers and sisters, our Asian, you know, so forth and so on. There's a good representative and a bad representative of every category. And that's economically, you know, rich or poor, um, religion, Christianity, Muslim, Judaism, you know, so forth and so on. There's, there's good representatives and that's bad. So you can't just separate and say black people or right. rich people or that. And, and I'm a simple guy, I like to simplify things. So this revolution particularly takes things back to the essence. It's close to our initial existence, you know, when the creator put us down here. And ultimately it comes down to two sides. You either represent good or you represent evil. You know, you're either making this world a better place or you're not, right? You're either impacting people's lives in a positive way or a negative way. You know, it, it, for me, it's really that simple. You know what I mean? So, this revolution, you are going to make the good impact. Without a doubt. Yeah, I definitely don't represent evil, man. If, if you've seen any of the posts that I put up um, previously referring to the revolution, you know, my main thing is good vibes only. You know what I mean? Come in peace, come in love. All those things that the world lacks and, and needs more of. You know what I mean? I think right now love is not at the forefront of, of anything. You know, it's, it's more so monetary capitalism you know get the bag chase the bag and to me I don't care if you can speak 
period. You know what I mean? If we speak two different languages, or if you can't speak at all, I think love is universal, right? If I if my if my tongue can't utter a simple sound, I can still show you love, right? And and it's re, it could be reciprocated, it could be understood, it could be comprehended, and and that's what the common denominator will be, you know, July 27th for this revolution. And so would you say that's kind of how you got to this idea of the revolution, the need for love in our community, in our society? I'm going to tell you what, like, it, it comes, so my formula has been thus far, in these two years that I've even been doing this, my formula has been simply, you know, God gives me a vision. Sometimes it's the whole vision, sometimes it's in pieces. But the key to that vision is being in tune, right? Being able to, to listen, being able to identify signs when they come and, and to apply them, right? Because with revolution specifically, it, it came in bits and pieces. When you think of Shooting Star, Shooting Star came like one big movie. You know, it, it woke me up out of my sleep and I was like paralyzed. I don't know if you've ever been in a situation like that, but it was like the world stopped mm -hmm. and I'm watching this movie. I watched Shooting Stars before it even came to life. On the other hand, revolution, it came from a friend initially with just the music. So then I wrote to the music. So it was words. Then with words, words have power. Came the vision. Vision came piece by piece by piece. And vision probably is going on like a year old, you know, and it's evolved. I had ideas how I wanted to do it initially, but um, through time it changed, but I think it changed for the better. Like, so speaking of shooting stars, how does the revolution differ from shooting stars? And how are they similar in some way? So differ, we'll start there. So differ, I would say, if you saw shooting stars, do you see a group of people that's kind of already arrived, right? And I was like the newbie, I was the new kid that they welcome. Um, so you kind of call shooting stars a meeting of the, the gifted, a meeting of the enlightened, a meeting of the people that are already there, the talented 10th. Mm -hmm. um, but the way my heart is made, it's like, it's not enough, you know? Like I know that feeling I got when I walked into that presence of all those other people being surrounded by that greatness and, and that's where it taps into making the world a better place like I'm not the only one you know and I'm not the last so I'm sure there's thousands to millions of others like myself that need that same coming out part right so that's what the revolution represents the revolution represents going to get the masses you know we all going to tap into our, our purpose, you know, our destiny. But it all starts with with love. You know, love is the gasoline that that fuels the engine, you know, to run. So why is this so important to you? What I mean, is it that you need from this project?